Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1218, longest arithmetic subsequence of given difference. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given an input array of integers, where we need to find a subsequence of integers that gives me the given difference, right? So we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming approach. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we are going to create a dynamic programming dictionary. Then we are going to have a maximum length as one at the start. So here we are assuming each and every element is a subsequence itself, right? So at default, we are assuming the maximum length as one. So initially I will pick the first value one. So now I'm going to take difference between the current value and the difference variable that is given, which is negative two. So here we are going to get three. So now we need to check whether we have seen three in the dictionary or not. So what we are trying to do here is that whether we have formed a subsequence three previously or not. If we have formed a subsequence previously, we can include this one in this subsequence. Else we will form one itself as a subsequence, right? So in this case, we haven't seen three previously. So we are going to include one itself in the subsequence, right? Here, rather than storing the list itself, we are going to store the length of the list, right? So here we have one value in the list. So we are going to store one. After storing, we need to update the maximum length. So we will take maximum between the maximum length itself and the current numbers value, which is nothing but one. So here both are one. We don't have to update the maximum length. So we pick the next value that is five, right? So again, we need to take the difference between the current number and the difference variable. So here we are going to get seven. So here we haven't seen seven in the dictionary. So we are going to create a subsequence with five, which is nothing but a length of one. Then we need to take maximum between and the current numbers value, which is nothing but one. So here the maximum length remains one. So we are going to pick the next value from the list. So we are going to take number seven and we need to take difference between the difference variable and the current number. So here we are going to get nine. Since nine is not in the dictionary, we are going to create a subsequence with seven. So the length of the subsequence is one. So again, we need to update the maximum length. So the maximum length remains one in this case. So now we will pick the next value that is eight, right? Again, if we take difference between eight and negative two, we are going to get 10. Since 10 is not present in my dictionary, we will create a subsequence with eight, which is nothing but the length of one. Again, the maximum length remains as one. So we pick the next value, which is five. So now if I take difference between five and negative two, we are going to get seven. So if I check seven in the dictionary, it exists, right? Which means I can include this five along with seven. So here we have stored seven. That is the reason we have one here. The length is one. So we are include this five in this seven. So we are going to get a length of two, right? We are going to update the length of the subsequence in the last numbers value, right? So we are going to increase the number five value by one. So here we are going to get two. So the reason why we are updating two is that we are updated the subsequence, right? Which is a length of two. So we are storing the length of two in the last numbers value in the subsequence. So the last number is five. So we are storing that length in the last numbers value, right? So if I take maximum between the current maximum length and the current numbers value, we are going to get two. Here we have two and here we have one. So we need to update the maximum length by two, right? So now we pick the next value that is three and difference between negative two and three, we are going to get five. So now we need to check whether five exists in my dictionary or not. Yes, it exists, right? So here we have two, which means, so we have stored seven and five. That is the reason we got two here. So we are going to 
add 3 to the subsequence and we will take the length of the subsequence that is 3 and we will store this 3 in the last numbers value in the dictionary. So here the 3 represents the last number and this 3 represents the length of the subsequence, right? And now we need to take the maximum between current numbers value that is 3 and the maximum length itself. So we need to update the maximum length by 3. So now we pick the next value that is 4. If I take difference between 4 and negative 2, we are going to get 6. Since 6 is not in my dictionary, we will store 4 with 1, right? So then we need to update the maximum length. So here it just remains as 3. So the maximum between 1 and 3 is going to be 3, right? So now we need to take the next value that is 2 and difference between 2 and negative 2 is going to be 4. 4 exists in my dictionary. Yes, we have 4 here, right? Which means we have 4 in the subsequence. Now we are going to include 2 to the subsequence. So the length of this subsequence is 2 and we will store this 2 in the last numbers value. So here we will be having 2 and length is 2. Now we need to update the maximum length. So maximum between maximum length and the current numbers value. So we don't have to update the maximum length in this case. So we pick the next value that is 1. So if I take difference between 1 and negative 2, we are going to get 3. So now we need to check whether we have 3 in the dictionary or not. So here we have 3, right, which has a value 3. So this value 3 represents 7, 5 and 3, right. So now we are going to include the current value 1 to this subsequence, which is a length of 4. So we need to store this 4 in the current numbers value. So the current number is 1. So we need to store 4 in the current numbers value. Then we need to update the maximum length by taking maximum between the current numbers value that is 4 and the maximum length itself that is 3. So we need to update the maximum length by 4. So now we have done with all the values in the input array. So finally we need to return the maximum length which is nothing but 4 in this case. So the time complexity for this problem is order of n and space will be order of n as well. That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we are going to create the dictionary dp. Then we need to initialize maximum length as 1 at the start. So we will be writing a for loop where we will iterate through the array. So first we need to check by taking the difference between the current element and the difference variable. Then we need to check whether that difference value exists in my dp dictionary or not. If we have that, we need to update the subsequence in the current elements value. Else we will create a subsequence using the current value. That is the reason why we are initializing it as 1, right? Then we need to update the maximum length by taking maximum between the maximum length itself and the current elements value. Then finally, we need to return the maximum length. That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys.